worst nightmare talking in front of people. <laughs> I'm good at shows, but so I kind of wrote some things oh, out. Oh my gosh. She's oh a my god. The gym. <laughs> okay. So Claudia works out. Clearly. And, and she she works Pamper Chef business with the same passion that she does for working out. She, That's she, where I release my stress from my wow. kids and my um, so wow. thank you everyone. Um, never in a million years would I have thought that I would be a direct selling person. Um, never in a million years would I have dreamed about leading and guiding others to their success. Never in a million years would I have thought this would become my dream job. I started with Pamper Chef in 2010 when I was six months pregnant with my first child. My goal was to make $500 a month to have some extra income. My husband used to joke and say that unless I clear $500, it's just a hobby. So I was like, okay, bring it on. Bring it I got on. this. That's what I need. I need challenges. I so I accepted the challenge. Um, I was a nervous wreck, and I was terrified talking in front of people, and I practiced my show like a bajillion times, and my husband was really tired of barbecue chicken sliders. He's like, can we please have something else? I'm like, no, 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 I need to practice. Um, that year in October, I promoted a director and I had a new goal to maintain. I had no idea what I was doing by having new consultants on my team, but with Donna on my side, I, need, I received the help that I needed to guide them in the right direction. I'm originally from Germany, and not only did I have no local family to help me start with my business, I was also expecting my first child and was preparing for that. So just to show you, when you set a goal for yourself, don't find excuses. Look at your goal and go for it no matter what. My favorite quote to this day still is that you can only fail if you quit. Hmm. And that was my motto, and that's what I still go for. Did I have cancellations? Yes. Did I have shows where no one showed up and it was just me and the host? Yes. Did I have shows that didn't qualify? Yes, I did. But I just kept asking because I wanted and needed to maintain my directorship. I went to every single meeting that Donna did and um, I also went to other consultant shows. I just knew that I needed to observe and change some things so these cancellations wouldn't happen. So um, I was looking at these no-shows and cancellations as like a learning lesson. Like, what can I do so this doesn't happen next time? And I like to tell everyone that, especially new consultants. Not every show is going to be perfect, but just look at it and learn from it. And learn from, learn from every single show and change it for the next one until you figure out what works for you. Once my son was one, I decided to go back to work full time as a government travel agent because I had a degree and I didn't want it to go to waste. And I knew that I could do Pain for Chef alongside. I still did my two shows a week, um, but when I took the job, I didn't know that I was already pregnant with my second child. So I kept doing both jobs, Pain for Chef and full time travel agent. And it wasn't until after my daughter was born that I had to put them both in daycare and I did not like that. <laughs> I didn't like dropping them off at six o'clock in the morning and picking them up at six o'clock at night. And also I didn't like half my income going towards daycare. Just didn't feel right. So I set a new goal. Our move overseas to Korea was approaching and I told myself I will not go back to working for someone else. I will make Pamper Chef work for me and my family. So um, I set a goal to work every Monday and Wednesday evening and that's what I did. I started with like two shows and I booked more at every show and it was really like a roller coaster, just not roller coaster, I guess. Um, a train, it just started taking off, right? Mm -hmm. So I had a full show schedule, I had recruits and the team was growing. And then all of a sudden I had people that wanted to promote a director and I'm like, oh, <laughs> let me call Donna because I don't know how that works. <laughs> so I said, Donna, I need your help. I have people that want more and she's just amazing. She's like, okay. We're just going to do weekly calls. And I literally, I just sat there and listened. I didn't even do anything. And with that, with her help, I promoted to advanced director. And um, I also earned my first trip. And once I took my husband to my, his first trip, he was sold. Mm -hmm. So that was the goal now for yeah. every year. So just like Rachel's husband, um, and that's where I met Rachel, actually. He's like, so how was your show? How far are we away from Bahamas and are we earning level three how many recruits you know he just keeps asking me all the time which is good so after a busy two years in Korea we were moving back to the US which was the beginning of this year 
And I really planned ahead for this move because I knew that this is what I'm going to do. And I looked at a lot of vendor events and things that I could do to get my business off the ground there. It took, I mean, it didn't happen overnight, but it took a good two to three months until I had my full show schedule again of eight to 10 shows a month. It wasn't easy, but once the train started rolling, it was unstoppable. I mean, bookings, recruit leads, it just like took off. What I'm trying to tell you is there are no excuses. If I can do this, every single one of you can too. I had no family besides my husband to support me when I started this business. I had two children doing this and two international moves. If there's a will, there's a way, and you will get there no matter what obstacles life, life throws at you. And sometimes we have to sacrifice things to make things even better for our family. Of course, I had moments where I wanted to throw in the towel and go back to working for somebody else. Because let's face it, it's a lot easier to work for someone else and they tell you exactly what to do and when to do it and you get paid the same amount of money every month. Why do we work so hard for someone else but not for ourselves? It's not re easy to run your own business, but I like to say when you start treating it like a business and less than a hobby, you will succeed. Could you imagine where our business would be if we worked nine to five on Paper Chef every oh. single day? Right? Craziness. <laughs> and one last thing, be in communication with your leader no matter what. We can only help you if we know what you want and what you're going through, whether it's good shows or bad shows. But if you need to talk to us so we can help you get whatever you want out of this business. Take advantage of all the fabulous programs being offered to you. The PACE program was amazing. I took it twice myself. I tried to push everyone on my team to take it. Uh, it's a great program because it's not just for people that want more, right? It's just people maybe, even if they do one or two shows a month, they could still learn a lot from that program. And go to your local meetings or virtual meetings or whatever meetings you have. Those were always the first thing on my calendar when I started. Even if I had to be a babysitter, I knew that it was an investment in my business. So I made no excuses to not go to meetings. I would go to um, Donna's new consultant training every single month. And every time I would pick up something else. Sometimes we have to hear things more than once. So save the date now for the next national conference. I want to see you all there next year and set, start setting money aside now. Once you see the recognition and excitement on stage, you will want to be on there. It is worth every single penny. And lastly, listen to your leaders. She thinks it's funny because she calls me up and she's like, Claudia, what the hell are you doing? Yeah. It works. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm just doing what you told me to do, right? <laughs> so um, set a goal, surround yourself with successful people, whatever that goal may be and work for it no matter what. Come up with a game plan of how you're gonna get there and just do one step at a time. Thank you. So, so Claudia and I thought real quick, because we, we know we're behind, um, that we would share with some of you in the room, really don't know what um, directors get, why you'd want to even be a director or any of the benefits of it. And I know many of you do know. So we just want to give you a little reminder um, and this is the best way I know how to tell you what Here a director gets. Yes. So coming around the room <laughs> is um, a one sheet page um, created from Claire Dolger and actually this slide was um, enhanced by Claire and her team. 